Order. Question number two, Jacinda Ardern. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Police and asks, does she have confidence in the police investigation of alleged sexual violation against young women and underage girls in West Auckland? Honourable Anne Tolley. Uh, Mr Speaker, I have confidence in the police. While the Police Commissioner has provided me assurance that the police investigation has been thorough and appropriately managed, a number of questions have been raised about this investigation. That is why I have written to the Independent Police Conduct Authority this morning, asking them to undertake an inquiry into this matter and to provide me with an independent assurance that police have conducted this investigation to the highest standard. The public of New Zealand need to have confidence that police take allegations of sexual assault extremely seriously and that they will do all that they can to ensure perpetrators are held to account. Yeah, right. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. Why on Monday did she state that victims needed to come forward in order for the case to progress? when it has been revealed now that several young women and girls did exactly that as long as two years ago. Honourable Anne Tully. Uh, Mr Speaker, because simply because the information that I had on Monday and again on Tuesday was that although girls had been spoken to, they hadn't made formal complaints. What was revealed last night was, in fact, that a young girl had made a complaint. Neither the Commissioner nor I were aware of that. And that, and that is one of the questions that has been raised and one of the reasons I have asked the IPCA specifically to investigate the uh, investigation of this young girl who was 13 two years ago. And the other three? Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. Why was neither she nor the Waitamata District Commander or the Police Commissioner properly briefed on this case at the very beginning? Good question. Honourable Mr Ann Speaker, Tully. I have expressed my disappointment this morning to the Commissioner that that has been the case. He is extremely disappointed that that has been the case. Uh, uh, and and I, my understanding is that he is conducting, uh, with the district commander, uh, an inquiry into why that information was not available to them. Good answer. At least someone in here. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the minister. Is it her expectation that a person who makes a complaint over sexual violation and gives information about their clothing at the time of the incident would then have it implied that what they were wearing could influence the case? Honourable Anne Tolley. Well, Mr Speaker, I really think that we should stop jumping to conclusions. Order. Order. This was a legitimate question. It's a serious matter, and I want to hear the answer. There is... The police have very strict protocols around the investigation of sexual assault charges and allegations. It is my expectation that police will adhere to those. They have done a tremendous amount of work over the last years to raise their performance, to focus it on the needs of victims, and I would be extremely disappointed if they had not lived up to those standards. That is one of the reasons that I have taken this so seriously, that I have taken the unprecedented step of referring this to the IPCA for investigation. I, I caution this House that the investigations are ongoing and we should be very careful that we do not say anything that might prejudice uh, bringing some of these young men to account. Supplementary question, Carol Beaumont. What efforts were made by the police over the last two years to warn young women in West Auckland of the actions of this group given their predatory nature and well-signalled plans to target young women and to increase the number of young men involved in their activities. Honourable Anne Tolley. Well, Mr Speaker, I am assured by the Commissioner that, that this has been a thorough and enthusiastic uh, investigation by police. They have been... Yes, they are very enthusiastic to bring these young men to account. They have... Uh, it is my understanding that they have interviewed the young men on numerous occasions. 
Uh, they have spoken to their schools and the principals of their schools. Uh, I, that is the information that the Commissioner has given me. But I repeat, the IPCA will investigate the entire, the entire investigation from two years ago. And, and it is important that, that pol politicians don't get involved in that investigation, because that is a police operational issue. The IPCA, the IPCA are the only ones that can go through it minute by minute. Point of order. Point of order, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Um, I actually asked what order, efforts... Order, order. I heard the question, and on this occasion I invite the member to repeat the question to Thank you very speaker. much. What efforts were made by the police over the last two years to warn young women in West Auckland of the actions of, their group, of this group, given their predatory nature and well-signalled plans to target young women and increase the number of young men involved in their activities? Honourable and well, Mr. Speaker, I thought I'd just address that. The Commissioner has the Commissioner has advised me that the police went to great efforts to track down these young men, to speak with them and their families, and went and talked with their schools. They they also talked with the parents of the girls, but without any evidence, they cannot make unsubstantiated accusations about young people. Speaker, I still don't believe Order. that answers the question about warning young women in West Auckland. Order. Then, uh, on this occasion, no, the uh, minister included the statement that they'd been and talked to uh, the schools, etc., which obviously would have been. There. That's I have determined that on this occasion the minister has addressed the question. May not be to the member's satisfaction. The way forward is for the member to ask more searching questions if she wants to. Question number three, Paul Goldsmith. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister.